Is it possible to recreate the look of an actual Leica vintage lens? A few weeks ago, I found my grandfather's old Leica camera. It turned out to be from around 1932. The camera has a 50mm Sumar 2.0 lens with a screw mount. Thanks to an adapter, I can attach this nearly 90-year-old lens to my Leica M10 monochrome. The look of this lens fascinates me. Every photo I take immediately has an organic feel, like an old photograph. The secret lies in the lens elements being glued together. Over the years, this glue starts to dissolve, resulting in these dreamy, misty effects that simply are breathtaking. Now, is it possible to simply recreate that look in post? Maybe even with using a color camera. I went out with my beloved M10 monochrome and the Sumar 2 attached. Along came my workhorse, the M10R, and the 50 Sumilox ASPH version 1. I have here the first picture I took with the uh, vintage lens. You see that beautiful glow on the umbrella, on the white umbrella, especially on the white umbrella. Don't be confused about the f-stop information up here. I did always check that I have the same f-stop. So it's mostly it's an f2 I used. And here I have the color version. This is with the Sumilox. It has a vintage look, but it has, that's what I mean, it has a vintage look, but it looks post-processed. It's not organic. This one looks organic. Turns out when you have a picture with, I mean, I have highlights in this picture on the left side, but it's highlights in the background. So they're creamy anyway, so this kind of helps to manipulate the picture. When you have like a very strong, bright spot in the, in the foreground, like we have here on the first picture, this is much harder to recreate. It's actually pretty close, I think. This is a picture I like, the guy on a break, and this is of course a very bright picture and so we have almost no contrast. There was not only this old car, there was also this old gas station that is kind of looks like a movie set. And of course, this was really organic here with the vintage lens. You can 
also see here the different bouquet. This is the old lens, is this like oval bouquet. And here, unfortunately, I, it's not the whole thing in the picture, but you can see a little bit the aperture blade from the newer lens. I think it has to do with the glass as well, because it does not smear that much. It's much more crisper, and I think that, that has to do with the newer glass. Next picture, again, this beautiful haze cloud in front of it. I think this is probably gonna be impossible to replicate. I think it's absolutely, this one is absolutely impossible. Give it this look. Then I went up to the rooftop and I was interested if it's possible to do also do like a city skyline shot with the old land. And this is the Beverly Hills skyline. And I actually like that a lot. It really looks like an old picture for me. And I have it at the moment as my iPad background and it looks amazing on that. So let's check out the color one with the Sumilox. It's actually a bit boring. So now we have it in black and white, looks better. those two next to each other. I mean, I think it's still fascinating how much detail you can see with the older lens. It's, I can, I can read all that stuff. It's even a bit clearer on the left. So maybe it's because I was shaky a little bit, but I truly like what you can see. And yeah, we're pretty close here, but I still think it's not quite there. I also went to Las Vegas and I took it with me and I did a few pictures there. And there's one I like with those slot machines. It was a little bit underexposed, so I have to push this a little bit. But I think this is such a cool picture. Let's try to replicate it here. So I would say it is possible, of course, with a few tweaks, but then of course there are third-party filters you can just put on there and then makes this vintage look and feel. But again, I am an advocate for doing it in camera. This is really craft if you can do it in camera. Of course, I had to do nothing. I just put on the lens and then took the picture. But I also, while working with that lens, I'm still kind of figuring out the behavior of the lens because, for example, what's not working at all is direct flares in the camera. Then it just makes a very weird effect which doesn't look good anymore, in my opinion. Of course, if it's an artistic decision, I did not make a picture yet where I liked that kind of direct flare with the vintage lens. But I really like when you have some bright parts in the picture and you have also some dark parts in the picture and you can really see that glow and you still have the contrast, but the glow somewhat like glows over the whole picture and gives it this very old vintage look. The most extreme moment I had experiencing that was actually the first photo I took with that lens. When I was in the Leica store and testing out the adapter, I just photographed some bags and this picture looks for me, it's, I was like, wow, it's an old picture. This was for sure not a regular comparison video of two uh, lenses, but I still hope you had fun and learned something. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you want to know more about the vintage lens, please check out my video I did when I found the camera. I did an initial video uh, where you can see more example photos and hear a little bit about the history of the camera. Thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. Stay curious. Yeah.